And right now, it's the spring finale of Jane by Design, only on ABC Family. That's me, Jane Quimby. My life is a little complicated right now. I landed my fashion dream job working for her, Gray Chandler Murray. The only problem? They think I'm an adult. Now I'm juggling two secret lives, one in high school and one in high fashion. Previously on Jane by Design. Well, we haven't had a chance to spend a lot of time together, you know, just us. If it's okay with you, I'd like to bring an assistant with me. Hey, where are you? The bus is about to leave. Change of plans. What were you doing with Bo Braun anyway? He asked me to come work for him. What's your problem with Jane? The fact that my boyfriend's life revolves around another girl. I can't hear you. Jane, you are not having sex with Braun guy tonight. All right, fellas, here's how it's going down. Are you robbing this place, Tommy? It's time to stop lying to me, Jane. Fashion crimes. We've all committed them. The things we wish we hadn't worn. The things we wish we hadn't done. But there's no use looking back. At this age, you just gotta learn to breathe. Gotta leave because sometimes getting caught sometimes is the thing that sets us free. Ben, come on, you're going to have to talk to me at some point. Just let me explain. Actually, I was up all night trying to think of an explanation that would somehow fix the fact that you've been going behind my back for the past few months. And honestly, Jane, I'm coming up empty. I, I wasn't... Going behind your back, Ben. I you just... lied to me, of all people. After all we've been through, I thought we were closer than that. I was trying to help. I mean, did you seriously not notice the bank stopped calling about the mortgage? And... Wait, what? Nothing. You've been lying and pretending to be an adult because of me? Because of us. The money. Great. Wow, that... I feel so much better. I went in for the internship so that I could help, and then I guess they got a little confused, and... And you never thought it might be wise to clear up their confusion? Well, if I had told them, it would have been over, and I couldn't risk that. And what's the excuse for lying to me? What's the... What's the reason behind that? I don't know. And I love it. This job, it's, it's my passion, and I can't imagine doing or being anything else. And honestly, I would still go every day even if they weren't paying me $34,000 a year. Are you kidding me? What? You're making more than I am. Exactly. Which is why... It has to stop. No, no, Ben, please. I love this job so much. I know you love it, and I love that you love it. But, Jane, you're still a kid. It's done. This isn't fair. Fair? You're right. It isn't. You know what else it isn't? Legal. Hello? Yes, it is. What? When? Yes. Yes, of course. I, I'll be right there. What happened? Oh, I can't believe she's not coming. Well, you know what mom is with this stuff. Actually, I don't. Well, let's just say she's... She lost patience with the whole reckless youth thing. No, she lost patience with you, Tommy. I knew this was a bad idea. I told you I wanted out. So this is my fault. And it's my fault, too. Hey, listen, remember what we talked about, okay? Hey, just keep your mouth.
mouth shut, whatever they're trying to throw on us, we just stay quiet and we wait for our lawyers. Say it. We're waiting for our lawyers. Cool. Well, we contacted the mother about an hour ago and she refused to come down, but she did give her consent for him to be released to you until his court appearance tomorrow afternoon. Thanks, I appreciate it. All right. Taking you home. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Come on, let's get your process for release. Don't worry about me. We won't. Ben, I don't know how to think. You've all done a tremendous job of bringing Donovan's Marie Antoinette collection to life for Fashion Week, and I'm extremely proud of it. And Donovan... Donovan? Donovan's here? Donovan wanted to be here, but now is not the time to get complacent. We do not rest until this collection is going down the catwalk tomorrow night. Until then, we are all on lockdown. No photos, no texting, nothing. Not with anyone. Is that clear? Mm -hmm. Good. Where the hell is Jane? Uh, I, I'm, I'm not exactly sure, but Gray, listen. No, you listen. We have a show in 24 hours. Yes. And the collection but. is perfect, but I need all hands on deck. And you and I both know that someone on the inside would like to see us fail. Gray. And the last thing I'm going to let happen is Bo Braun get his grubby, pompous hands on Donovan's work. Bo is actually... Fine. The man's got talent, but he's ruthless and vicious and... Quite charming, if you ask me. Bo is here to see you. Yes, Jeremy. Clearly, I can see that now. Thank you. What do you want, Bo? Oh, I just thought I'd stop by and uh, say good luck. And goodbye. Divorce papers. Sign divorce papers. Goodbye. Jane, can you give me the number for... <sighs> what? People are counting on me to be there and I can't just leave them hanging. Fine. Then tell them you're quitting. Ben... Now. Right now. Right this second. Call this gray person and tell her you're done. If you don't, I will. It's done. Good. Hello, Gray. You're trying my patience, Jane. You have exactly 15 seconds to explain to me why you didn't show up for work today. I am so sorry. I've been having some uh, personal issues. A personal life is a luxury in this business, Jane. And if I cannot afford to have one, then you, by proxy, cannot afford to have one. I'm sorry. I know the show is coming up tomorrow, and... I'm glad to hear you keeping up. I promise I am going to do my absolute best to make it in time. I certainly hope you do better than try, Jane, for your own sake. And Jane... Why are you in a closet? Uh, closet? I'm not in a... Closet? You didn't quit, did you? Nope. <laughs> but if I can't make it to the show in time, I won't have to quit. And with you going to court tomorrow... It's all gotten so... Complicated. Yeah. Speaking of complicated, since when do you play getaway driver for your brother, Billy? I mean, come on, what were you thinking? I don't know, Jane, I guess. I wasn't. Do you realize how much trouble you could be in? And how do you go from a school camping trip to getting arrested for breaking and entering anyway? 
Let's just talk about it later. Or we could talk about it now. What are you not telling me? I was upset. So I called Tommy and he picked me up from camping. And, you know, things just got out of control. Oh, well, why were you upset? Lulu and I... Had another fight? Shocker. No, you know, it was fine at first. And then... She started asking me about you. What about me? Some stupid game where I'm supposed to pick between the two of you. And you picked me? And she hated that. Yep, of course she did. And that's it. Okay, spell it. You've got the look. What look? That look that you get when you don't want to see me upset. Okay. Okay, when I came back, she was... I saw her. I saw her with Nick. They were kissing Janie. Oh. I really didn't want to tell you. No, no, I'm, I'm glad you did. I'm sorry. That's not what you think. No, because Billy saw you. I can explain. Oh, he saw you two together, to be more precise. Just give me a second to explain myself. Okay, go ahead. Go. I didn't think so. You know what, though? I get it. The stars, the campfire, it's all very romantic. I mean, how could you resist? I'm just really, really glad I didn't stick around for that. Hey, you're not sticking around as we got us here in the first place, Jane. Got to swear. You can't put this all on me. That's completely unfair. I was looking forward to being with you. Well, you've got a funny way of showing it. What about you? Hell's wrong guy. What are you talking about? You said you couldn't come to the camp because you had to work. I did have to work. I called you. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. I called because I wanted to... I don't know. I wanted to hear your voice or something, which is idiotic. I realize that. But You want to know what's idiotic? You sticking your tongue down Lulu's throat. That's what. What were you doing, Jane? Nothing. It sure sounded like something when that girl answered your phone. India? I could barely hear over all the music blasting at your work function, but what I did hear was her yelling at you and wrong guy. <laughs> so you just hung up the phone and then marched over to Lulu's what was I tent supposed and supposed to think. You you didn't even give me a chance to explain. I don't know what else to say. Jane, don't. just let me Okay, I can't I can't talk to you. Not anymore. For the record, absolutely nothing happened with wrong guy. I was too busy talking about you. Do you think he got a tattoo? Or maybe he joined a gang? What are you talking about? Billy. He left camping early and went on some crazy crime spree. I wonder what it takes to make a person do something like that. I wouldn't know. People change in there. Can we just drop it, Harper? The entire school is talking about it. Cam even already got shanked. Do you even know what that means? Of course I do. I watch The Wire. everybody let's get down to business what's in the briefcase I'm glad you asked Harper as we embark today on the business of sexual education I'd like to introduce you to today's guest lecturers responsible Ricky 
and abstinent Alice. Now, Ricky and Alice have decided to go for a drive together. It should be noted that they have waited a very, very, very long time until they've decided to let Ricky get behind the wheel. Can anyone tell me that Ricky, being responsible, what the first thing he puts on when he gets into the car with Alice is? Harper? A condom. I was going to say seatbelt, but... So Ricky puts on his seatbelt, you know, because oh, man, accidents can happen. I'm really sorry. But then one day, I screwed up. That he doesn't want You're my friend, and there's no excuse for what I did. Dude. And Alice says, Look, I just want to make it up to you. And he goes, I don't to Jane. This is a sports car. I like it was a mistake. Three things. First, you can't make it up to me. Second, we're not friends, never were, never will be. And third, and most important of all, is Jane. I warned you. I warned you not to hurt her. Turns their drive in this sports car into the longest minivan drive of their lives. What's up, Billy? Yeah, I think I need to step outside before I do something I regret. I think that's probably a good idea. Gotta be honest, Jane. I'm nervous about this court thing today. It's gonna work out. It's all gonna be fine. People always say that. What if it's not? You know, it's very possible that I could be not fine. You will. Because if you're not, I won't be. Look, we're gonna be there every minute, me and Ben. He said he has to do something beforehand, though, so he's just gonna meet us there, okay? Okay. So, um, are you gonna wear this to court? What else would I wear? I don't know. I mean... Look, don't get me wrong, I totally hated that guy, but, um, this might be a really good time for a preppy douchey belly to make an appearance. <laughs> Is that right? Just a suggestion. Thanks. But I think I'll stick with this, Janie. This is me. <sighs> it's gray. You have to go. And leave you? No way. I'm going to that court. No, I'm... no, you're not. <sighs> Billy, I... You said that if you didn't show up, you were done. You're going to that fashion show. End of discussion. What about Ben? I'll take care of Ben, okay? I'll talk to him. Just go already. Go! Yeah. I just came by to make sure somebody's gonna be in court for Billy's hearing. It's in about an hour. Well, I would. Really. But, uh, I gotta catch up on a couple of things. <laughs> it's amazing how far behind you get when you're away for a couple of days. Look, I've got my own court date to worry about, okay? Fine. What about your mom? Uh, guess it's as good as mine. What the hell's the matter with you, Tommy? Beg your pardon? It's your fault that he's in this situation. You're not even going to be there for him. You need to go tell the judge what really happened. Well, that's not good for my defense. What's your defense? I'm falsely accused. <laughs> Are you being serious? You know, the kid's tough. He's smart. He doesn't need me. He doesn't need you. And he certainly doesn't need to be coddled. No, you know what he needs? He needs a brother. If you don't mind, Gray, I'd love if we could touch a little bit on your rivalry with Beau Braun. Of course. I have the greatest admiration for Beau. He's an incredible talent. I was fortunate enough to get a sneak peek of this collection this morning, and I have to say, a modern take on Marie Antoinette, it's brilliant. You must be joking. That's... That's... inspired. Ben Quimby. Thanks for coming. Wouldn't miss 
it. Hey, where's uh, where's Jane? Oh, <clears throat> I think I think all this was a little overwhelming for her. So um, you know, she got super emotional. So I just told her to stay back at the house. It's probably for the better. All rise. Court is now in session. <sighs> You're gonna be fine. You're gonna be fine. I'm gonna be the Honorable Judge Pope presiding. So not fine. So loose dad. <laughs> Breaking and entering. I must say, Mr. Nutter, I am sorry to see you. What do you have to say for yourself, son? <clears throat> Just that, uh, I'm sorry, Your Honor. I, uh, I made a bad decision, sir. I know that. And, um, I'm sorry. It says here you didn't act on your own accord, that you were coerced into committing said acts by older brother Thomas Nutter, is that correct? No, Your Honor. No. Billy. I acted on my own. Okay, I'm going to ask you one more time, Mr. Nutter. And I would recommend that you think carefully before you answer. Were you coerced into aiding your brother with the acts for which you are charged here today? I made my own decision, sir. Okay. Who posted bail for this young man? I did. And who are you? I'm Ben Quimby, sir. I, I just want to say Billy is one of my finest students and a very close friend of the family. I know him extremely well. And I know he's a little rough around the edges. Between you and me, if I see this kid coming towards me on the sidewalk, I'm crossing. Even if there's no crosswalk, I'm just doing it. Dude, what are you doing? Relax, I, I got this. But that's because I don't know him as a person in here. I'm, I'm just judging by what I see. And lest we not forget, this is what really matters. Am I right? Back me up here. It might be true, Mr. Quimby, but I see good kids make mistakes in here all the time. And that's why I think a couple of months at Newhall Youth Detention might give Mr. Nutter ample time to think about those mistakes and their implications. Your Honor, this is my client's first offense. It's his first offense, Your Let Honor. Me. And surely this isolated incident, Your Honor, it should have no bearing on his character. I'll need time to review the case and make my final decision. Until then, you stay out of trouble, Mr. Nutter. This situation is worse than tragic, is pathetic. Bo strikes again. And if we can't turn it around before tonight, we're all done for here. You understand? Gray, we go on in four hours and that... Yeah, yeah, I, I, I understand. Well, I don't. Jay, uh... How are we supposed to redo an entire collection in four hours? We can't. It's impossible. We're dead in the water. How did this happen? I was meticulous, vigilant. There was not a trace of that collection outside of the lookbook. And that book was never out of Jane's sight until she handed it to me in Paris. Is that right, Jane? The lookbook never left your sight. Not once. All day. Uh, not technically. Technically? Well, I may have misplaced it. Misplaced it? But only for a few hours. How could you not give me that little bit of information, Jane, when you handed me the lookbook in Paris? I don't know. I'm sorry. I knew it. You knew what? It was Jane. But this is a total disaster. Uh, not helping, Carter. You know what? Maybe India's right. Maybe... India? Thank you. Well, at least someone can see what's really going on here. 
Are you implying that I can't? Because that's completely uncalled for. I don't understand. Enough. We have plenty of time to spread the blame, but only a few hours before those girls go down the runway, and we can spend it bickering, or we can spend it working. Jane, we're back. Janie? Where is she? Ah, that's, that's so weird. I mean, I totally thought she was here. Sit down. She went anyway. She didn't quit, did she? She lied, again. Ben, tonight was huge for her, okay? It's fashion week and- You being serious right now? She had to go, I'm sorry. Come on, man, I just stood up for you in court. I just vouched for you. Look, she'll only be there. This is what happens, Billy, when you're nice to people. Ben? Where are you going? I'm going to get Jane. Okay, we have no time. We cannot waste it. We've got to do something. We go Latin. Infuse the collection with fire. Show the complete visual opposite of the threads. I like it. Not bad. <laughs> we don't have to completely reinvent the whole collection. We just need to reimagine it. Use what we've got. We only have two hours and change. I don't know. Um, India said we should do something that visually opposes threads, right? Right. Well, what if we take the collection and turn it on its ear? Now's really not the time to be turning well, things on. Go on, Jane. Well, I have this friend, my best friend, actually. And he's had his ups and downs, and he's questioned himself. But at the end of the day, he is who he is, no matter what. So sweet. What's your point? Yes, Jane, what are you suggesting? I'm suggesting that we take our Marie Antoinette inspiration and we add a little Sid Vicious to it. A total mashup. I say we take it punk. I was, um, it was personal. Although, according to Gray, we are not allowed to have a personal life around here. Which is probably for the best, considering I am not doing very well in that department lately. Guy problems? Uh, you could say that. Do you need me to beat up a bad boy for you, Jane Crumby? Because <laughs> I will. Just tell me where he lives and his history. I'm stronger than I look. You know, I spent a fair amount of time on the streets back in my day. <laughs> uh, was this before or after Parsons? During. Yeah, design <laughs> school's a very dark and dangerous place. <laughs> Seriously, though, what happened? I thought he was this great guy, and I thought he was it. Turns out it wasn't who I thought he was. I'm sorry to hear that. Is that right? <laughs> it's just... Never mind. Oh, come on, tell me. Uh, it's just, you know, some people just aren't what they seem at first glance. Take me, for instance. I'm dying to hear this. Well, on the outside, you might think I'm a very successful, handsome guy. Who... So handsome. And you probably think, well, he's a flirt. He's a playboy. Mm hmm How could I ever possibly trust a guy like that? <laughs> Which, I mean, it's true, but, you know, if you looked a little deeper, do you know what you'd say? I'm all ears. Someone who would like to get to know you better. Oh, my God. 
Ось. You took my wedding dress sketch and I apologized. It was a cab driver, Jane. Was it? I mean, I didn't see a cab driver. And then you met with a beau in LA. Where are you going with this, Jane? It's you, isn't it? <laughs> You're insane. You're the mole. You've been giving our designs to Bo. Jane. Oh, we were just talking. May I have a moment alone with India, please? All right, let's go, people. Showtime. Okay, it's great. Get that stuff in the back of the truck. Follow him. He'll show you where to put it. Let's hurry, Jane. Come on. Oh. We need to get to the show. You go. I should uh, wait for Gray. Let's wait for you. What's going on? It was India. I don't believe the whole time. She's the mole. She's been giving our designs to Bo. <laughs> you can't be serious. India would never do that. Look, I know you guys had whatever you had, but I'm telling you, it was her. No. Yes. Girl's going in an hour. We have to go. Now, Jeremy, come on. Let's go. You believe Jane? Yes, I do. Don't you see it? She shows up out of the blue, out of thin air. No one's ever heard of her. She hasn't studied anywhere. It's like Jane Quimby didn't even exist until you hired her. What are you trying to say? That it's obvious Jane is the mole. Jane? Yes. The only thing that is obvious to me is that I need to do what I'm about to do. No, great. You... While I have great respect and affection for you, I'm afraid we have to say goodbye. Just like that. After all these years. I'm sorry. <sighs> Goodbye, Gray. Oh, in India. Good luck. You did this to yourself, India. You got the wrong person. back okay ben is he's on his way to you right now when i
Tommy, what are you doing here? Come on in. I just wanted to swing by. Great, thanks. Thanks for swinging by. Look, I'll get out of your hair in a minute, okay? I want to say I'm sorry. You're not like me, Bilbo. You know, you're a good kid. And you deserve better from a big brother. Why, why are you saying this? Well, because you probably won't be seeing me for a while. <laughs> Third time's a charm, if you know what I mean. Tommy. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. I just... I needed to get that off my chest before I go away. And you should do the same. So, where is she? Who? Jane. Oh, she's... She's not here. Why? In case tomorrow doesn't go the way you're hoping, you should tell her. Uh, tell her what? Tell that you love her. Oh, Jane's my best friend, Tommy. <laughs> I know I might not be the best older brother, but even I could see it. Ever since you were this big, it's always been Jane. I have to go. I know you do. Thank you. And big smile. Oh, it's beautiful. Right over here. Thank you. Looks like you're a hit as well. What can I say? <laughs> we pulled out of a nosedive and gave him a show. A great show. Indeed. Um, would you just excuse me for a minute? Just one minute. I'm gonna just... I'll be right back. You don't even have to say it. I'm sorry I lied. And I'm sorry I left without telling you today. I'm sorry, Ben, about everything. But I had to finish what I started here. This night. I just needed to do it. Hello. Hello. Gray Chandler Murray, Jane's boss. I'm Ben. Ben Quimby, Jane's brother. Jane never mentioned a brother. There's a lot that Jane doesn't mention. So, what did you think of our show? I thought... It was incredible. Well, we couldn't have done it without Jane. Is that right? Yes, she has a bright future ahead of her. Nice to meet you, Ben. Good night, Jane. Good night. I let my dream go. Ben. And I have never regretted it. Never. Not at all. Not even. Not even for a minute. Because I did it so that. You wouldn't have to give up on yours. And this. This is definitely your dream. can't lie to me. If I'm gonna let this go on, you gotta be up front with me from now on, okay? Okay. Stop crying, because you're gonna make me cry, and I can't cry at a fashion show. <laughs> you won't be funny. Oh, you so much more. You want to ride home? Actually, I was thinking about hanging out here for a little while. 
Yeah, it's just as long as you're back by midnight. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> ben? Thank you. For all of it. I'll, um, I'll see you at home. Heartbroken in Hoboken on the line. What do you got to say, Heartbroken? I told the guy I love how I felt. He didn't feel the same. And so I wrote this email. I can't do this. Oh my God. <clears throat> no. You can do this. I can do this. I can. Oh, no, 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 no. No, you got to be kidding me. Stop. Come on, baby. I don't want to do this. Not now. Hey, I, uh, I thought you already left. I did. But I forgot something. I forgot to say thank you to you. <laughs> Before you came along, I'd lost my love for this. But seeing it through your eyes, it's made me love it all over again. With you, Jane. I have to take care of something. Just, it will just take a minute. Just wait here. Okay? Okay. Don't move. <laughs> okay. Come on. No, no, no. today are they gonna I'll be fine i just I need to tell you something Janie. i can't do this anymore that's who yeah it is i'm done I have no idea how to say this, so I'm just gonna say it. What's going on? It's you, Janie. Jane? 